fiber cartilaginous embolism, or FCE, occurs when a piece of fiber cartilage from an intervertebral disc breaks out into the bloodstream and lodges itself in a blood vessel, obstructing blood flow to the spinal cord. This interruption of blood flow to the spinal cord can cause immediate paralysis or paresis in one or more of a dog's legs. An FCE is also referred to as a spinal stroke. It can happen to any dog, but spinal strokes are more frequently seen in young to middle-aged large breed dogs, and also miniature schnauzers. Neurological deficits associated with FCE are often, but not exclusively, localized to one side of the body, while the other side of the body is either completely normal or sometimes mildly affected. Since FCEs often occur in the mid-back, it is common for only one back leg to be affected. FCEs typically occur following exercise or mild trauma, such as landing awkwardly after jumping or rough play. Although dogs might cry out in pain at first, they are not typically painful after the initial vascular insult to the spinal cord. Fortunately, the condition is not progressive or painful after the first 24 hours, and these dogs generally have a good prognosis in all but the most severe cases. Trademark signs that an FCE has occurred in dogs are sudden and severe pain that makes your dog yelp, with lessening pain after a few minutes, sudden weakness or paralysis after activity, usually on one side of the body, and signs that do not worsen after the first few hours. If a dog is no longer in pain, but still can't walk on its back legs, that in and of itself can be indicative of an FCE. However, other common causes of sudden pain and mobility issues need to be ruled out first. If no cause is found during the physical exam, blood work and x-rays, you should visit a veterinary neurologist. Achieving a definitive neurological diagnosis, such as FCE, requires a neurological exam, advanced imaging, and possibly a CSF or cerebrospinal fluid analysis. By far the best imaging technique for diagnosing an FCE is MRI, because it can distinguish between not only compression of the spinal cord, but swelling, inflammation, and infarction within the spinal cord. MRI can also help give us a prognosis for the return to function based on the size of the area affected by a spinal stroke. It is critical to achieve an accurate diagnosis because both FCE and spinal cord injuries can have similar clinical signs but have very different treatments. For example, an FCE is a non-surgical spinal cord condition treated with immediate and aggressive rehabilitation therapy, while other conditions such as IBDD need to be treated surgically or with strict crate rest. Regaining the ability to walk may take a few weeks to a few months, and recovery may not be 100%. But it is absolutely possible for your dog to recover from an FCE and have an excellent quality of life. An accurate diagnosis, supportive care, and physical rehabilitation are essential to maximizing your dog's recovery, and the vast majority of dogs go on to lead happy, normal lives. Receiving prompt medical attention is critical Every recovery plan will be different, but early diagnosis and treatment will generally result in a more rapid and complete recovery.